guest. He was driving a white freight liner with a white box trailer. If you know anything about this crime, you're asked to contact the CHP. Today, the Tulare County Sheriff unveiled a brand new $72 million detention facility. That project has been in the works for more than 10 years, and it was paid for with both state and county funding. CBS 47's Medeiros Babb has a first look at the facility and its impact on taxpayers. Law enforcement comes with a heavy price tag. Police officers are very expensive to have and to hire. For the first time since 1999, Tulare County has a new detention facility and it's located in Porterville. It can house over 500 inmates and will require a staff of over 90 correction officers. These officers' starting salary is around 50000 each year, amounting to close to $5 million total annually. Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreau says the financial impact was a big factor in the design layout. In this facility, it was designed to where we could use minimal amount of staffing with maximum ability of coverage. So as you go upstairs, you'll see that there's four different modules that can be overseen by two officers to four officers versus eight to ten officers. The new facility will allow more inmates to be held in the southern part of the county. Boudreaux believes in the project and has high hopes for the future. We hope uh, and pray that there's not any unanticipated uh, issues that are going to cause uh, any type of financial uh, hurdles or that we run into any type of personnel issues. All of those things are unpredictable, but those are our hopes. In the next couple of months, staff and inmates will start to come into the facility, but it will not be fully staffed until the next year. Madeira Spab, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.